I'm gonna tell you something about hot sauce. And I'm not too keen on eating airplane food, but a fatty is a fatty and we don't turn down a meal. When they come around serving that food, I pull out my plastic utensils from my bag. I carry my own. Uh, pull out my hot sauce, squirt it all over that freeze dried food. It's like five star eating. As soon as we landed, I got Chick-fil-A. Well, they don't have Chick-fil-A here in New York or New Jersey. <laughs> and you know how I like my food. Yup. We landed, we went right to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then, um, then they had more Chick-fil-A waiting for me in my, in my area. Chick-fil-A, cheese. I'm simple. I don't have like a, a rider of a diva. Cheese, crackers. For some reason, there's always fruit, but I never eat the fruit. <laughs> there's, there's always fruit. And if you take a hot fry and dip it in sour cream, the coolness of the sour cream and the heat from the fry, and then you take a swig of champagne. Mm. <laughs> Decadent ghetto. I love to go where the food is. Oh, gotcha. So when you trip, when you plan a trip, you plan it around. Uh, is that fish? Oh, okay. Are you just miming what it's like when you eat? My mouth is watering. Oh, it's watering. <laughs> Bring out the food! Yeah. <laughs> Have mercy! You good? Yes, I'm really good. Bye. And even though my mouth is watering for this sandwich, which, by the way, it's here early because, Tristan, I placed the order literally <laughs> right before Ask Wendy. <laughs> I can do the show and, and hot topics, but my mind is always on, what am I going to eat next? When I wake up in the morning, I think, what am I going to eat today? It's like the weirdest thing, but I know I'm not alone in that thought. I know I'm not alone in that thought. It's not just a person, people who have a propensity to be overweight. It's if you, lo if you enjoy food, then literally while you're eating something delicious, you're like, what am I gonna eat next week? Or tonight for dinner or whatever. I just, I'm a foodie. You are convinced that Tiffany is your granddaughter, that Janet Jackson is the mother, and that James, your son, is the father. I've never been so convinced. I wonder what they serve at Flanagan's. I bet you it's good cold beer and really juicy sandwiches. You all were paying attention to the interview. I'm looking over the shoulder for a good place to eat. There was a Flanagan's in the background. You know, right. we'll see how long this lasts, but they're both bouncing back quite nicely. Where do they eat? Do you know? I don't, I don't know what restaurant <laughs> they're <laughs> Fans of The Voice uh, know this, that Christina Milian has been added as the social media chorus. All I care about is McDonald's chicken bites. Would you... So about Susan Boyle and the meltdown in Burger King? Oh, I know. It's a, so it's a British Burger King where everything is polite. And so, <laughs> so Susan goes there, and then she starts screaming obscenities, and she bursts into tears and goes berserk because she was told that she had to wait for her coffee. Who goes to Burger King for just coffee when there's a Whopper Jr. with extra cheese and four pickles waiting for you? On days when you know you shouldn't be eating it, you remove the top bun and the bottom bun and just eat it like this. Just wop it up. So have you heard Amanda Bynes was caught shoplifting at Barney's? Oh, Amanda, you poor thing. Now you can never go to Barney's on that eighth floor and have those delicious chicken livers that make my mouth drool. <laughs> I get the same thing every time I go there and they have the french fries too. And they serve the chicken liver on like a brioche, a piece of brioche that's soaked in like this, this warm, thin gravy, like not thick gravy. And then they put the chicken livers on top. And now they call them appetizers, but the serving is big enough that it can fill you up. The last time I was there with my parents, I got a double so I could take some home. <laughs> They're not good for your cholesterol, but boy, are they tasty. <laughs> so, 
Suge decides that he wants to do the confrontation with somebody else in the movie at Tam's Burgers. Now, if you're like me, before you can go on with the story, you're like, hmm. <laughs> now, what is a Tam's Burger? <laughs> so, I get on the Googler and I find out Tam's Bur uh, Burgers is in Compton, right? And they're known for their pastrami chili cheese fries. Ooh. Doesn't that sound delish? <laughs> Hmm. So here she is at home, minding her own business. You know, she and her boyfriend, Nick, they just bought this uh, new $5 million mansion. She decides to order herself a pizza, plain. No, no anchovies or anything. As a foodie, these things are important to me. During the trip, they went to a pizza restaurant. I wonder what that pizza tastes like. Like real Italian pizza from Italy. Because they probably don't make it like they make it here or like they make it in Chicago. Like, is it thin crust crispy the way I like it? And do they only slice the pie in four sections the way I like it? Like, what is this eight section pie thing going on? If I'm gonna eat a slice of pizza, I want a slab. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like to bite the tip without the fold. And then about three bites in, I like to fold it with my pointer finger, <laughs> right? And then I like to put a piece of wax paper and a paper towel on my lap. Cause you know, some grease is gonna come out and I like to eat it all the way up to the last red part of the crust. <laughs> and then if the crust is good, I'll let that slip in my mouth. But generally speaking, I'm not a crust. Are you a crust? <laughs> And I love Chicago deep dish pizza. It's the only place where I'll eat a deep dish in Chicago. And I like it stuffed with sausage in the middle. It's like two inches thick and the cheese is in there too. And then they put tomato sauce on the top, but not like from the can, like real tomatoes, like crushed, it's like tomato sauce. Anyway, but look. <laughs> anyway. And they were recently at, um, these two, um, at a place in New York here called Patsy's. They've got good Italian, have you ever been to Patsy's? Yeah. Well, we found out what they ate because we're nosy. Okay, <laughs> she had the penne pasta and, in, with the spicy marinara sauce and a grilled chicken salad um, is what George had. And they both had cannolis and biscotti at the end. Oh. I hate hot topics, why are we so nosy? <laughs> why, do, why do we know this? Why? <laughs> They broke up after he did that movie where he ate the fava beans. Silence of the... A foodie always remembers the food. Fava beans. They added a stripe down the side of her shorts, I guess to, you know, take away or distract from, you know, the hawk. I used to love a ham hock. And you know, she's a yogurt, a, a yogurt. Mmm. Blueberry with lots of nuts on top. Right, you stir it up good. Anyway, and then the nanny went to tell Black China, because Black China apparently wasn't there. Maybe she was getting a Chico stick, I don't know. <laughs> you know, the food is very delicious at the amusement parks. <laughs> I was home with a snack. I had sardines on crackers watching this. Excuse me, loaded in omega-3 fatty acids. Good for your skin, good for your hair, low in calories. Mmm, sardines are so good as long as you don't look at them. Little sardine face looking at you. Don't eat me. <laughs> Two hours. Just Bruce and Diane. You know, I'm a foodie and I love food with TV. I was even thinking, what kind of snack am I gonna have? <laughs> and I was thinking like some sparkling apple cider and some horseradish cheese on, on water crackers with a little spread of fig on top. The idea of the hot and the sweets on a thin cracker would go perfectly with Bruce. At the end of the claps, it always sounds like popcorn to me. <laughs> or is that me? I'm a foodie. So now, here, 
No, well, th that's just me. Thank you. As opposed to clapping, it sounded like bacon. <laughs> I've eaten out of the garbage, and I am not ashamed. It's normal. Okay. By the way, it's normal in my household, too. I've done that. Birthday cake? I'm not throwing Sandwiches? that away. Sandwiches? What? Bacon? What? No, not bacon. Bacon? Why? It's not that wet. If a little hair is on the top, it's just your hair. Just pull it off and eat it. How much time passed before you ate Before you ate it? It has to be something nasty like coffee grinds on top okay, of okay, it. Okay. So for me, it doesn't even matter. No. You know, if I'm in my office and I throw a sandwich away, particularly if it's the sandwich with Please. Genoa salami, Come on. Miracle Whip on one Come side on. and hot mustard on the other side, oh. and some Swiss cheese. Your mouth is watering, isn't it? And rye bread? So I'll eat half the sandwich and I'll throw the other half away. And it might fall apart a little bit in the garbage can, but I will look at... Put it, put it back together. <laughs> Attention, Mommy, Daddy, Wanda, Tommy. About the peanuts. <laughs> I didn't start to like peanuts until I'm a grown woman now. I had walnuts for breakfast. But I used to unscrew the top off the peanuts put a whole bunch in my mouth, lick the salt off, and spit them back in the jar. We've all had nasty ways, that's all I'm saying. Okay, I'll tell you where I was. I was in Philadelphia. I we went there last week, and I was at Pat's Cheesesteak. It's a world-famous cheesesteak place. And you see the cheese whiz dripping. They let me go in the kitchen and make my own cheesesteak. I put extra everything on it. <laughs> and then, the, and then the, the fat foodie that I am, I went across the street and ate another one at Gino's. <laughs> and left Philly with two cheesesteaks. Woke up like 2 o'clock in the morning and ate one. There was cheese whiz all in the bed the next day. I love my food. Okay, you take one jalapeno um, almond. It's all salty and spicy. Hold it, hold it. Chocolate licorice. And the flavors coagulate. It's like a party. No, 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 no. There's no reason that work shouldn't feel like home. <laughs> My favorite kind of food, out of all of the foods in the whole world, categorically, Mexican. After Mexican food, then it's soul food. Okay. Mariah is officially heading to Vegas. She made the announcement that she's doing her residency at Caesar's Palace. Wow. Now, what I love about Caesar's Palace is that the Cheesecake Factory is downstairs. <laughs> Under here is our newest flavor that debuts on July 30th. And since you are our number one fan, yes. we wanted you to be the first person in the country to try it. <laughs> Queen of the Cheesecake Factory, and I've never seen this one before. Is this, this new? This is our seasonal cheesecake. It's our peppermint bark cheesecake. Love it. Yeah. What's it made of? White chocolate cheesecake with peppermint chunks and chocolate. Swirl. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, right? It's very good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. it uh, you know I do. Look. Eat the rest in private later. What would you like? The four or five tacos? I want five tacos. No, what? no, I don't. You know what? <laughs> Only because you're watching, so <laughs> you're looking at me like an animal. <laughs> I don't care. Give me a half, half dozen fried chicken wings. Ask them to fry them hard. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I think I want a chili cheese hot dog too. Don't judge me, I'm skinny. <laughs> um, we didn't get any Russian. This is a Reuben? We're gonna talk in a minute, we're gonna talk in a minute. 
Where is the sauerkraut? We're gonna talk in a minute. Who did you send for this stuff? <laughs> We're gonna talk in a minute. The sauerkraut is cold, there's not enough of it. Okay. You eat this sandwich. We're gonna talk in a minute. No, we're gonna talk now. Go ahead. Bye, Tristan. <laughs> Bye. Are you kidding me with this? I'm gonna eat this sandwich and order another one. That's so. I love you. Do you think I'm playing? Watch. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this sandwich and I'm gonna order a tuna fish sandwich from Toasties. You're lucky I love all food. I'm really not angry. I just like to give you dramatic effect. <laughs> How long has it been since I had a tuna fish sandwich? Do you remember at one point, every single day I was ordering tuna fish? That's what spiked my, uh, my, the mercury in my blood between the tuna fish, the crab cakes, the crab legs. I ate so much fish over the summer that when I went to my endocrinologist, I uh, was I telling you this? Yeah, he said that I have loads of mercury in my blood. And I told him, I know exactly why. So I've dialed back. I haven't had a tuna fish sandwich now and two months. I've only eaten two pieces of salmon. It's killing me. I'm so sick of chicken. I want to choke it. Um, but what I will, but what I will tell you is yesterday I went, um, to have my blood drawn for my endocrinologist and I'm sure I'll be much better, which means today I should probably celebrate with a tuna fish sandwich and a piece of salmon and a crab cake. Willie, where are the boys? Gone. Willie, do you like crab? I do. No, you're not having any. I didn't, there was no enthusiasm in that. <laughs> Are we, oh. Brendan? Wait, is that you, Spicy? Hello? I have a, no, I'm not giving you any. All right, okay, fine. Okay, fine, here. No, I just want one. No, I don't want you to put your hands I in my box. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Look. I don't even want you to come okay, close, okay, okay. please, up. please. Put it right in my open sore. All right, no, come on now. I'm gonna do you a favor. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little plate. Okay. From the Wendy Kitchen. Thank you so much. Put it, put it down. Okay. All right, you ready for the final okay. touch? Mm. Spread out the um, triscuits. Okay. So that... Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Okay. Now remember, these are buffalo wheat thins, buffalo flavored, and chocolate covered <laughs> almonds, and your oh. mouth is gonna sing a happy tune. Here, I'm gonna- How many almonds per wheat thin? Um, just one, two almonds two. and one full wheat thin. Okay. No, no, let me just sauce it up one more time. Okay. Jesus. Put that in your mouth. Hey, yo. <laughs> you can throw it away if you want. No, I like that. That's good. Thank you. I do, I like that. And you say I can't cook. How you chewing? <laughs> I do like to eat. I am a foodie. You know, there are things that I like to binge on. But how I get, this ice cream is so decadent and fattening. One of my two favorite flavors, rum raisin and Whoa. vanilla Swiss almond. Yeah. I'll just use vanilla Swiss almond as the example. So you take it out of the freezer and you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then you sit it on the sink in your bathroom while you jump in the shower. <laughs> And then you get out of the shower and you close the blinds and you eat it till you scrape. But, and I'll be honest with you, I'll be honest with you, something like that I haven't done in about two years, but when I do eat a whole pint of, cause I don't eat that way anymore. But when I do eat a whole pint of ice cream, two years ago when I did it, um, I, it was the only thing that I ate all day because it's like 1200 calories for the whole pint. So literally, it's the only thing I ate all day. Back and forth to the refrigerator, in the microwave a little bit, you stand until you're scraping. <laughs> I have started this cleanse. I've, the attitude of, you know I'm an animal, I love meat. No meat, no this, no that. You know, that's where you don't eat the meat. You don't eat anything with a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the house yesterday minding my own business, making dinner. Wild rice with chickpeas. I smashed the chickpeas, made them into burgers with garlic. Like, well, I'm not, we're not all the way vegan, but now that the cleanse is over, we're vegan-ish. Do you understand? I'm in the house minding my own business. I was eating guacamole. It's vegan. You know, I'm vegan now. No, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. But, uh, you know, I'm eating my guacamole and my vegan chips. I had water. <laughs> HBO does not do commercials, so it's not like, you know, people at, you know, the, the car companies and the detergent companies are dropping sponsors le sponsorship left and right. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Oh, oh, sorry. My stomach is growling. I have a nice wedge salad with extra blue cheese sitting on my desk. Uh-huh. Nice fresh Jersey tomatoes laid on top of it. And the rest of my onion soup. Do you like an onion soup? I love an onion soup. And I like the cheese on top to be cheesy. And don't try to fool me with all that bread underneath. I want the soup and the cheese. Anyway. So Gladys, you know, has this chicken and waffles restaurant in Atlanta. She's got three of them. And back when I used to eat the meat. <laughs> That's some good fried chicken. And I don't know how you eat your chicken and waffles, but I love the, the savory and the, and the sweet at the same time. So I take all the chicken off the bone. I order a breast for obvious reasons. <laughs> I, order, I order a breast, right, and I like the skin. So I eat the skin separate with extra hot sauce. I make it like a cup. No, no, look. You make the skin like a cup and you fill it up with hot sauce. I go, oh, yeah, yes, okay. And then you slide the meat off the bone and you decorate the top of your waffle and you put more hot sauce on the meat, but you make sure that it's laying on the waffle in a bed of syrup. And then if you're eating with friends, you can eat it with your fingers. Like forget the knife and fork. You know, you, I mean, you cut it up first, but then you eat it like an order. about, you know, the chicken, the hot, it's everything, the syrup, the, the waffles, all golden color and stuff. I don't like a crispy waffle. What are you gonna do tonight? Oysters. And, um, lobster sliders and fish tacos. <sighs> you guys really do know how to eat. I'm in my town, this is like uh, five weeks ago, and I'm having lunch with my son. And so it was like the middle of, um, I don't know, like the Saturday afternoon, restaurant wasn't real crowded, but a good restaurant with the tablecloths and the linen napkins. By the way, I can't stand a linen napkin. I just think they're so germy. The first thing I do, no, no, I understand that they're, they're the height of civility. However, in this Ebola society that we live in, okay. I like to take the cloth napkin and put it in my lap. And then I ask the bartender to bring over a bunch of paper napkins and I use them to wipe, you know, my, my, um, yeah. It's like when you're on the airplane and they hand out those warm towels. Do you use yours? Yeah. Really? Do you know what people do with those towels? I've seen people take full baths with the warm towel. I mean, like, like they pick up the towel and the tongue and they give them to you. And I've seen people wipe their whole bald head and back around and then wipe their neck and dip down and wipe. And... That's all I'm saying. No, ma'am. So anyway, so I'm at the restaurant in the town. It's like five weeks ago. I'm with our son. It's a tablecloth restaurant with the cloth napkins, but I use paper. So... We go to the hostess at the front and she says, oh, hello, her eyes light up. And she seats us right away. So I'm like, okay, this is you know, nice. And we sit down and then she comes back um, about five minutes later, she goes, um, would you like me to take your coat, Latifah? <laughs> I didn't get offended, I just went with it. I said, no, my coat is part of my ensemble, but thank you very much. So I just went along with it, Latifah, look. And so then she comes back like 20 minutes later. Now mind you, she's the hostess, so she needs to be up at the podium in the front, escorting, you know, seating people. At this particular point, I already placed the order for what I wanted to eat, a lobster roll and a Caesar salad with, with extra anchovies, as long as they're the white ones. Do you like a white anchovy? Ooh. So she comes back and she, she, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She said, Wendy, I had no idea. I said, 
No, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's, it's okay. You're breathing over my appetizer, it's okay, it's okay. Don't let my food touch everyone else's. Okay. <laughs> I'm a germaphobe, I've got a problem. I know, I know. Do you know when you go out to eat at the diner and the ketchup, you wanna use it and you go like this? Well, this is what you do and you, your fingers touch everyone else's germs. I always take a napkin. Do you do that too? <laughs> Catch that, Rambo. Mm. Oh, I don't want to spill in my. Oh, how civilized a cloth napkin. Mm. No, 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 um, no. <clears throat> Save that. <laughs> We've got more. <laughs> Sure that no one else will eat it. I want to know how you romance it. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Well, for Valentine's Day today. What do you I think? I forgot you were here. <laughs>